it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and today I want to show you a Korean colouring book. It's called Princess of the World rather than Princesses but never mind. You can see it up against Joanna Basford's World of Flowers there and it is reflecting a little in the light because it has a lovely glossy colour. Cover. Now I'm just going to tilt it so the light doesn't reflect on it. It has a fold out flap on the front cover and on the back and you guessed it it's a coloring and paper doll coloring book as well so if you like paper dolls and I love them so we start off with the title page double page spread it does fold over nice and easy the paper is an off-white medium quality for the coloring side of the book and my apologies for Buddy getting comfortable in the background. The liner is black, a dull black, and it's a variable line weight between fine in some aspects and then medium in others. It's pretty easy to see, but there's a lot of small details that if you're visually impaired, you might just want to do a color wash over those. So it's sort of half cutesy and half cartoon like figures got a variety of images from different countries so these are all the princesses of the world that's our Aladdin we've got our Greek princess I think there and our Egyptian princesses with all the hieroglyphics in the background and I like the way they've included the little animals throughout the colouring book. It gives it a bit more interest. And some of our princesses even get spooky, so a good one to save for Halloween. And then we have the paper dolls. So you've got one doll and you've got a number of outfits and little elements there. There's the tabs to fold over for her crowns. And you can dress her up and the back has been coloured as well. And you can just cut those out and have a great time with them. And these are on a glossy coloured paper and it's got like a laminate on it so it's not smudging. I like the images that they put on the reverse as well. They're pretty cute. I don't know whether the doll, I think it might need a you know to be put on cardboard or something just to uh, make sure that it's sturdy enough but I used to love playing with these when I was a kid loved paper dolls I'd love to know if you like them as well now they are quite sturdy paper that they're on it is quite thick but I think if you're playing with it a lot and excuse the reflection from the light on these it's hard to film which is probably why I haven't filmed this book often I put books aside and uh, sometimes it might be years later <laughs> before I film them because sometimes when I've tried first time they haven't haven't filmed properly so then they go in the too hard basket <laughs> but the paper is quite sturdy but as I said if you if you really were going to play with them, I would maybe stick them onto a cardboard just so that they don't get too damaged. So loads and loads of outfits and you can use this as inspiration for your colouring as well because these have all been featured in the colouring side of the book. So not only are they inspirational images, but you can play with them as well, which I think is kind of cute. It doesn't make sense, the images on the reverse, but I do like them. They're pretty. They, they don't run with the theme of the book. So I imagine it's just some art that they had to put on the reverse because like, succulents, I don't know, doesn't really go with the princess theme, but who knows? I, I like the... I like the other aspects of the book and I do like those pictures but they don't make sense. And here's a, a Millie cat, a beautiful Himalayan or a Siamese. 
Millie is a Himalayan and in case you're wondering where she is for her fans, she's sleeping in Buddy's bed. She's uh, decided that that's her bed now and uh, yeah, he's been relegated to the floor. <laughs> so now we have our business lady princess, I guess. So cute images, very cute. Look at this one, very Halloween for our Halloween princess. And even some baby princesses or child princesses there. Now it is a bit stiff up against, uh, up on this end of the book. And I see I'm going off course a bit because it is a bit stiff, but it does fold down flat. You just have to keep at it. So there we go, our Princess of the World colouring book. There's more in this series. I think I've shown you the ballet one before. I'll have to check. But very pretty colouring book and great for adults and children. So that's it from me. Until next time, stay safe and happy colouring.